Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I thought I'd speak about left-handed mice. Naturally, not the Tom and Jerry type of mouse, but the computer mice. I've never ever had a, or ever actually found a left-handed mouse. I've always used typically right-handed mice using my left hand and then I've just switched the buttons usually so that my, the left click becomes the right click and the right click becomes the left click, essentially. And while this is fine usually, especially with the more advanced mice with the, which have additional shortcut buttons etc, it becomes difficult to use while using it left-handed because it's, it's typically designed for right-handed people because of the placement of the shortcut buttons and stuff like that. While it can, you can use it as a left-handed mouse, it's, it is a bit more difficult and usually you can only access a couple of the buttons as opposed to all the buttons. And I have used a red dragon mouse before. While that mouse is still one of my favorite mice of all, it did speed up my workflow, but I did find that I didn't utilize all the shortcut buttons as I'd hoped for. If you want to check out that video, you can check that out here. It did prove quite difficult to find a left-handed mouse, but luckily Amazon came to the rescue as per usual and, and I found the, the Elecom left-handed mouse. The only difference is that this left-handed mouse is a trackball mouse as opposed to your conventional trackpad mice. I had also always wanted to give these trackball mice a try because they seemed like such a good idea for you know small places, small compact places where you wouldn't have to keep moving your arm around. It just seemed like a better solution for a mouse. I decided to give it a shot, let's check it out. Let's start with the, the bad or the not so good. What did I not like about the mouse? The first thing was, I guess, it's not so much a bad thing, it's just something that needs that someone needs to be aware of is that it does take a bit of time to get used to it. So definitely give yourself a week, maybe even up to a month to try it out. And if you get frustrated or if you find yourself not getting used to it very quickly, give it a bit of time, don't, don't rush it. I did find that it was a little bit difficult to get used to within the first couple of days. And I was on the verge of maybe saying, you know, ah, let me go back to my conventional mouse. But I pushed through, I gave it a bit of time. And I think within the second or third week, I was really loving it. It really was easier to use. I, I love the fact that my hand and my arm can just stay in one place just use the thumb to move around. It was very fluid, very smooth. I, yeah, I really loved it. So while that was supposed to be the, the bad about it, it, turned into the good, but yeah, something to definitely be aware of. One other sort of downside is that it does take a conventional battery as opposed to a rechargeable. I think there are versions where you do get the rechargeable battery built in. Yeah, not such a big deal, but something to think about. So leaning on from the first point of taking some time to get used to it, some people might find that the accuracy of the trackball may be a little bit finicky. So if you're doing very detailed design work, for example, you might find it a little difficult or again, it might take you some time to get used to using the trackball to get those, those pinpoint details or pinpoint clicks. I haven't had an issue. Yeah, other than those two, I can't think of anything else bad about it or anything else that I don't like about it. So let's check out what it's really good at or what I really like it for. One of the great things I like it for is that my arm doesn't have to move. I can also use it in small places. So sometimes when I go to an office space with a small desk, it's really helpful because then I don't need a lot of space. I can just use the mouse in that space. My arm, my, my mouse and my hand doesn't have to move at all. It's really convenient in that way. Secondly, I really love the design so it really fits my palm, my hand really well. For me it's a big thing because I've never really had or felt a left-handed specific mouse so it really the contours, everything just fits so perfectly. Being a right-handed person using a right-handed mouse fairly often someone else it might seem like a trivial thing but yeah something that I still really love. It also has a sensitivity switch on the bottom so you have two different levels and that sensitivity is for your trackball and that's really helpful because this depends on I guess yourself but you can choose the sensitivity which is really cool. A lot of the keys are programmable through through the software as you can see you can choose which button to program and select the correspond in key or the shortcut key for that 
specific button. It also has three or actually five extra shortcut keys. The one is to your le to the left of the left click has another another click button. There's two extras on the right as well as the the scroll wheel tilts to the left and to the right and those can be programmed as well as buttons. So for example on my setup the far left button is to copy. Two far right small buttons are to paste as well as to cut and then the scroll wheel left and right is back and forward so for example in your browser you can go back and forward same sort of principle with those but I really love the shortcut buttons they are really convenient really useful speed up your workflow I can't go back to a mouse without any shortcut. I think it's really critical especially if you work whether you work in the IT space or anything really where you're using the computer a lot excel a lot stuff like that it's super super helpful it's another thing I spoke about in my other video with the mouse with so many shortcut keys so there you have it there's quite a lot going for the mouse I quite like it all in all it's a really good mouse I think it's definitely useful thing to try with the trackball it's not for everyone most definitely if you love it then you love it I guess another thing to mention is the packaging that it comes in it uh, it comes in packaged quite nice in a little box a little compartment fits all well together it's you can basically keep that box as well and whenever you travel anything a perfect little compartment that you can put it in when you travel and not be worried about the mouse I think it's well designed. I think it's it's built well. The qu the build quality is really good. All in all, quite impressed, and yeah, I really love it. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.